give it up for Selena Kopic. During college, uh, I wrote for the only on-campus newspaper at Hamilton College uh, in upstate New York. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Hamtech, fuck yeah, upstate. Uh, CNY. I worked for the only on-campus um, newspaper, which was called The Spectator. And uh, getting a, a gig writing at The Spectator was not hard. Very few people on campus wanted to do it for whatever reason. Uh, and so I mostly wrote dumb opinion pieces about stupid shit that I would just email to my friends who were editors over there. Um, one of my favorite pieces that got me the most on-campus acclaim was an article I wrote that compared a building on campus that was being shut down by the administration to a mullet. Because I was like, Hamilton administration wants to act like it's all business up front, but we all know there's a party in the back. I mean, real gemstones like that, real cutting edge stuff, you know, important topics. Um, so, so I wrote a couple like silly opinion pieces, fun times. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's not like I hated the Hamilton administration. I love my alma mater, I love it so much. Um, it, it's such a beautiful green campus in the middle of cornfields. The professors were so accessible. I had dinner at many professors' homes and we would have pints together in the pub on campus. Uh, and best of all, campus security at Hamilton was wicked lax. Um, yeah, just like super chill, uh, really nice guys, just local guys who would drive around in a little van, you know, but like they would never do anything to you. I mean, and, and they had a, I found out from a friend who had to do some community service and like help out with campus security, that if they smelled you smoking pot, they would just walk the other way. Because they were like, you're just going to eat and go to bed, you know? <laughs> Which I was like, I love it! Like, just super chill, you know? So, great times. Um, so senior year, I had an idea, and I decided I wanted to write a column in the newspaper. It would be a weekly column, um, and I decided that it would be really fun to explore the concept of what should you definitely do before you graduate from college. Rites of passage. Um, and it was Hamilton-specific, obviously. So, I brainstormed that every week I would have something that you just got to do before you graduate from Hamilton, I would do the task and then I would write about it. But I didn't want to do it alone, so I recruited my friend Lauren. And so Lauren and I had an ongoing 10-part series called Lauren and Selena's Top 10. So for ideas initially, I sent out an all-campus email. This was back when that was a pretty badass. <laughs> so because they like had all these, they were like, you're not allowed to do that, but we did. Um, so I sent out an all-campus email and I asked the Hamilton community, what is something that you just gotta do before you graduate from Hamilton? And we got a ton of responses, and we combed through the responses, and then Lauren and I had our own ideas about like, what do you gotta do? Um, so we constructed a list of the top 10 rites of passage, and then started in and writing these, I'm um, writing this top 10. Um, and the rites of passage were great, and a lot of them were very universal to college, you know? Uh, we had help your fellow student. So we erected a free advice booth on the main drag and just gave like pretty shitty advice to, to our peers. Uh, but they also asked pretty dumb questions. <laughs> but they were nice. Um, we had party with a freshman. You know, a little intergenerational mixing. Ain't nothing wrong with that, huh? <laughs> um, we had hook up with a townie, uh, which, uh, yeah. Uh, I had already done a few times, uh, but I thought, Purposes, let's do it again. Uh, good times. Uh, another one of our missions was do a pub crawl in like the three bars that were in Clinton, New York. Literally like three shit dive bars, but we did a pub crawl, kept extensive notes, you know. Um, and and our uh, oh, and then also go on a date with your crush, um, which incidentally Lauren and I, my co-host and I, had the same crush. So we went on a three-person date to my lobster. <laughs> Date was pretty popular, so we kept joking around that one of us would be eliminated, and we kind of played by their weird rules, where like one had to disappear for 15 minutes so we could, you know, do some hard flirting. Um, and the sweet guy who we chose was like the guy who was in charge of Bobby Peru, which was the sketch comedy troupe at Hamilton, and I was in Yoda Pest, which was the rival comedy troupe. So there was a lot of sexual tension anyway. Um, 
But yeah, the date of my long term was pretty fucking hot. Um, but I ended up forfeiting because a lot of hot alumni football players showed up on campus and I was like, see ya! So Lauren won that one. Um, but our final mission and our greatest mission was streak the quad. And everybody streaks the quad at every college everywhere. You know, like you gotta streak the quad. It's the greatest thing to do ever, anywhere. And at Hamilton, there's a great tradition of streaking the quad. Um, when my sorority had initiation, we were, you know, it was what you feel like you had to streak the quad. Um, so I had streaked it many times before, but again, you know, for research purposes, I had to do it. Um, also, I love this, Hamilton has a, what they call a varsity streaking team, um, which is just a bunch of like hippie kids who like being naked. Um, and they're so great, like they built their own website with meets against like Colby and Bates, and like they would just show up at Colby and just like run through their main quad naked. Like, like we want that meet! Like, how cool is that? So fucking rad. So for our final mission, Lauren and I are like, we gotta strip the main quad. And we both already have, you know, over, here we go. So it's the end of senior year, literally it was like coming up on exam week. I'm like, oh, when are we even gonna schedule in this streak? Like it wasn't quite as like fun and crazy as I thought it was gonna be. But you know, you're busy at the end of senior year. So Lauren and I made a whole strategy. There's a main quad at Hamilton and the library is at the end of it. And there's like a quad sort of behind it, the science quad, and then there's a dorm back here. And so we decided to sort of be naked for as little time as possible. We would start from the dorm over here, run through the back quad, the main quad, and then we would have my car waiting for us on the other side of the other quad, just so that we're not like trying to, you know, I mean, trying to find another car. So we park my car over by, um, by, city, by the library, and it has a set, a set of clothing in it. And then we drive over, you know, like across campus in Lauren's car. And so then we strip down in Lauren's car, and it were, uh, we just wore baseball hats and sneakers. <laughs> Which is you know, pretty hot luck, you'd be surprised. Um, and so we're sitting in Lauren's car, and we're just trying to kind of like screw up some courage to like get out the car and start running. And it's, you know, and we're both really nervous, and we weren't even drunk, like, oh, what are we doing? And, uh, so, and we're about to get out in this friggin' pledge class of 20 guys runs by, and we're like, ah! So we pull back in the car, regroup. <laughs> Thank God we didn't run into like 20 freshmen pledging AD, whoo! So they go by, and we give it a second, we're like, okay, here we go. So we get out the car, we're running, oh, it's so freeing to run totally nude, you know, it just feels amazing! Um, and mind you, this was at night, so, you know, you're nude, but it's not like it's noon on the main pathway, you know. So we're hustling in the back quad, and I'm a couple steps ahead of Lauren, um, which, which surprised me, because she played lacrosse, but I feel like I had a lot of uh, momentum going, and she was kind of just, like, focused, but just a couple steps behind me, we're hustling through the back quad, we're giggling, we're feeling good, this is great. Get through the main quad, we pass by this dorm Carnegie, get into the main quad, and here we go, we are moving and grooving, and I'm like, yeah, this is so much fun, but, like, I don't even know what we'll have for the recap. Like, this isn't that, even that exciting. And just as I'm thinking that, I look over, and what is ambling down the driveway of the main quad but a campus security van? And I'm like, Ugh! and it's driving pretty slowly. And I see it, and I'm like, Reynolds! Campus security! Because you're lost in Reynolds. Um, I'm like, campus security! And I see it, and I duck behind a tree. And she just does not hear me. She is so focused on the car. She just keeps on going. And she ends up in front of the campus security van. <laughs> in its fucking headlights, just like naked in a baseball cap with good sneakers. And you're like, <laughs> And she is like 10 feet away from my car at this point. But she just like, you know, force a habit, turns around and runs towards me. And I'm like, there's not enough Obviously. But two, we did something nice for campus security. 